Hey, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time we're taking a look at the Transformers Generations Legacy Skullgrin. And by taking a look, I mean this is an opening video, not an actual review. The point is that it's a first reaction to the mold, so there's that. Anyways, I know that this is an older figure, but for some reason Walmart just decided to go a couple of waves behind and just re-release Wave 3 for whatever reason. Uh, and it's been a year since these toys have been out. In fact, I've seen them a year ago, so kind of weird, but okay, I guess. I mean, I managed to get Skullgren now. There's the side box art with the Decepticons. There is the back with all the accessories and doodads and thingy mabobbers and there's his horns. He's trying to hide. Don't hide your shame, little buddy. You are a pretender, which is cool, I think, now. Are they cool anymore? I don't know. Action Masters weren't cool, but now people are like, Action Masters are the coolest, we gotta keep referencing Action Masters. So it's like, well, well, well pick a lane, guys. Come on. It's very hard to keep track. Comment below, is Action Masters cool or not? All right, let's go ahead and open this from the bottom. We've got a flap and we've got the instructions, which I might need, because it's been so long that I don't even know how to transform this guy. All right, let's go ahead and clip him out of the packaging. Now, I heard that the plastic quality is a little bit softer, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. Of course, that's going to pop off the back, but I mean, that's a five millimeter pose, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's kind of kind of a different feeling material it feels a little softer especially when i do this feels a little softer not entirely out of the realm of uh you know the normal quality stuff and then there's also a rubber band that goes around the face and the back of the head so i'm gonna have to somehow get that off i can see your eyes i see them i see you have eyes you can't hide them there we go, got that out, and we just opened that up, and there he is. Oh, they're kind of pinkish. I thought they were going to be red, but no. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, Articulation-wise, you know, his knees can bend, so really, what more do you want? Knees can bend. Ah, that did not feel good when I brought those out, because these panels are kind of weird. So, I, I, he's got these little herp, it, herp, <laughs> hip skirt things. Ah, uh, and that one just felt like it was breaking because it was so stiff. But it's very limited to bring those out. You don't need to bring them out extremely far, but yeah, it is kind of weird. Also, these horns can move if you want. But uh, yeah, he does look very nice, very chunky. A lot better in hand, because when I saw the skull shape with this body, it just looked kind of weird, but uh, no, right now, I'm kind of into it. Anyways, this can all plug onto his back, which gives him a tail and a couple of extra guns, which you can plug in the hands if you want. But we're going to take this piece of paper out, and this piece of paper should give us the other guns and a McDonald's cup that just kind of fell out of nowhere. All right, let's see. Bring this out. And there we've got his little sword guns, which are very rubbery, very weird. Uh, I do not like the texture of them, but you can plug them as swords, which look kind of cool, especially with the grip right there. Or the, the guard, I guess. Uh, or they could plug as guns, which I don't think is a bad choice either. So you can have them as either or. You could probably plug them onto the side of the shoulders if you want. And, uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. And you could also tilt his feet, which have some paint in there. Oh, the paint is over top, but still, that looks pretty good. Lots of purples and grays going on here. So, not too bad, not too bad. Let's go ahead and see about the transformation. Ooh, that's bent. Ooh, that looked bad. Let's go ahead and see about the transformations, shall we? Come on, there we go. All right, so how do we do it, right? That's the, that's the scary part. That's the part we have to figure out, right? Okay, so transformation, you're gonna pop these off from the back like so. They're positioned like that. So, you can pop them off and, oh, they're just showing a different configuration for the guns, okay? Uh, do we leave them on? 
It looks like we just leave them on. Okay, so the tail goes up, and then these go back, and the hands should fold in on themselves. Which, by the way, I didn't realize there's holes underneath there, so if you want to take the sword guns, you can plug them underneath like that. Don't want them in the hands. That doesn't look too bad either. Okay, so we've got them like this, and then we rotate them forward, I believe. And then we hide away his horns and open up the chest. I like the double ball joint right here. Or no, it's actually on a ball joint and what is that, another hinge, I think? Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Anyways, we're going to bring that down like so and straighten up the legs. And we're going to flip around the instructions to see what else we have to do. Okay, so uh, this is very confusing. I believe this pops in. And then you swing the entire head down. Uh, do you have to do something with the ears, though? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, no, it doesn't seem to show anything for that. So I guess we just fold that into place. Like so. I don't know, they fold back perfectly, so I'm just going to fold them back for now. And then, what else are we supposed to do? So this is on a slider. So we bring that down. And then bring in the arms like so. They connect onto the top. Do they connect anywhere else? Okay, so I could see a couple of tabs that look like they're supposed to line up. Yeah, okay, they do. And we got all this done. And then this will fold up into itself, like so. And then, let's see, what's next? It seems like we're supposed to rotate the waist down. Yep, that's exactly what we're supposed to do. Bring up the legs forward, like so. And then these treads are supposed to come out. And I guess flip up like that. That flips in. I'm kind of going ahead of myself now. But this all should be able to go in like that tab these into place and then these should tab to the side like so and we got something like this now I'm not sure if yeah the knees are supposed to pop and then come up like that and it seems like there's a couple of tabs right here that, that will go into but it doesn't really line up perfectly uh, let's see okay so we got Something like that. And uh, let's see, is there anything else we should do? Like pop up the chest or something? No, that seems to be pretty much everything. So there we have Skullgrin in his very weird tank form. You could also plug the guns onto the side and there is a little notch that will connect to the front. Doesn't really connect too far, but at least it goes in somewhat. So there we go, and there is Skullgren. It's okay, you know, it, it's the pretender idea that these weren't really made for the best alt modes originally. I guess they can update it, but at some point you gotta realize, okay, are we, how far do we reference this kind of stuff? And I feel like they could have taken liberties to change up the front, but otherwise, you know, it's, it's fine. It's, it's just not that bad. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's got treads on the back, so that's good. But uh, it feels like it turns into something, so I'll say that. Anyways, with that said, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun do that. And I will see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just Prime.